What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is up guys, welcome to part two with this mono red Obosh list. Uh, normally we've seen a lot of Rakdos lists with Obosh and I've not played at all with it yet. Uh, I kind of happened upon the mono red version, so that's kind of the one we're going to start with. We will, of course, play a Rakdos version at some point. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get my feet wet with Obosh, see how I feel about him. Uh, so far, it's pretty sweet, not going to lie. Um, oh, this hand. Hmm. It's not, I don't think we can keep it. It has too many three mana threats. Uh, this is much more reasonable. Uh, what do we put back is the question. I hate to put back Phoenix, but I kind of think that that's the right call. Um, not 100% sure on that. We're learning. Um, not going to be 100% correct in this one, but that's okay. Uh, let's get Fervent Champion down and let's get a swing in. Definitely right to go Fervent Champion over like 10th Street Dodger there, though they both have haste. Um... This pumps, uh, if we do draw another one, they pump each other up. So there's a lot more usefulness out of that. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. I think we're just going to go for it. Uh, this is going to be a problem, obviously. We do have to kind of figure that one out, but we'll, we'll get there. We're the aggressive deck, too, so we're just going to go for it. Um... I do think this deck, uh, against another aggro deck like this one, you do kind of change your mindset a little bit. Uh, that being said, we're not going to right now. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> and there's a Fervent Champion. Um, let's throw that out there. Let's just attack with these two, that way we can um, not lose these guys. Uh, we will light... Oh, first strike damage. I always forget that. Uh, let's go ahead and light up the stage. Hopefully get a land. There we go. And let's get Scorch Spitter. That is great for us. Uh, Heraldic Banner. Probably a really, really solid card here. Um... Anax also quite good, obviously, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not going to block. They're already going to be able to take something out here, so we just have to make sure that this stays in some amount of check. Um, they can sacrifice stuff here. It's going to do a lot. They're getting to the point where they're probably not going to want to sacrifice this as much, but we'll see. Very, very good. The fact that they gain the life is a definite problem. Uh, we'll get rid of one of these dodgers here. We'll see what we can do. Ooh. Well, we're going to have to ditch the Anax then. That feels bad. Um... <clears throat> Well, I guess that does tell us what our play is. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Um, let's see. Do I think that that's right? Or do I think we need to do this? Um, I kind of think we need to do this. Uh, as much as I don't really love doing it, I think that's the right call. Uh, let's get in there with both of these. Just because these are very difficult for them to block, and we do need to keep the damage train going here. Um, we do lose that banner, which feels bad. I'm actually kind of okay with this. Um, it's not great, but we do get rid of that, which does mean they're going to have to play more stuff to sacrifice here. Oh. 
Which they can now. Ah. Yeah, they got it. Good game, opponent. Um, interesting game. Very, very interesting game. I don't know that we misplayed so hard there. Uh, I'm trying to think. We, we made a lot of misplays in the first video. I don't really think we did anything terribly bad that time. Um, we could have played the banner. I don't think it would have helped uh, significantly. Um, would have gotten more damage in, but like that doesn't matter when you're going to lose the game on the next turn. I think it was correct to block um, the Dreadhorde Butcher, because if I didn't, they could have just sacrificed it and killed us. Um, these frame rates... Okay, so something I'm realizing, uh, and I've talked about it before, I'm gonna start a new game. So we lose frame rates depending on the the people we're against is what I'm realizing. Um, so if we get back to the main screen, there we go, we jump back up. Let's see if we can get to uh, some, some good network, non-issue things. Um, just wanna mention guys, uh, very excited. I mentioned it in the first video as well, but uh, we do have, uh, ooh, Yorian again, uh, we do have the rest of the land cycle shipping to us right now. We got confirmation it is shipped out, uh, so we will get that very, very soon. And we can get those up in the store for you guys. I know a lot of people were asking, uh, you know, they love the island and that's very sweet and we appreciate the support. Um, but obviously they kind of want to get the full cycle, uh, which makes a lot of sense. They will be available soon. Uh, also just want to mention we are, you know, getting on towards over, well, we're over halfway through the month, obviously. Uh, if you are interested in picking up the patron rewards, uh, this, this month is a really solid month for Patreon. Um, we've got some really, really sweet stuff. If you're interested in picking any of that up, uh, we'd certainly appreciate the support, but also, you know, this is the best time to do it. Um, so feel free. Um, we've got a really good lineup this month. Uh, what is it? Is it Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor? And Avison Angel of Hope, I believe. Uh, all of which is, like, spectacular. Um, not a very good draw. We are lacking some lands here. Um, let's go ahead and get that out. I was really hoping to hit a land in the light of the stage, and that's why I did that. Um, I think that was the right call, for sure, because if nothing else, it got two dead draws off the top of our deck. Uh, as strong as that card is, we just can't play it. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can do here, but we're definitely going to be struggling. That's not going to help. Um, okay. Thankfully, these guys all have first strikes, so these are all going to die if they do block. Um, granted, they will get them back. Uh... Okay, so they're going to try and just kill that. I guess that works. Kind of interesting, but yeah. Um, we really just need a land, <laughs> like 100% we need a land. Um, this is unfortunately not a product of the... Ooh, very good opponent. <sighs> unfortunately, this is just getting mana screwed. We can't do too much about that. We just have to... Hope we get there, um, but the reality is they're probably going to be able to uh, do some damage here. Yep. I just want to mention, guys, uh, we finished up our Recoria giveaway as well. The support that we have had uh, as of... Oh my goodness, this is just bad. Uh, the support that we have had uh, over the last few weeks, really since Ikoria started uh, or dropped on Arena, and we've really been, you know, publishing out as many videos as possible. Also, this might be the next deck that we play. Uh, Luca is on the radar. Um, I just want to mention, I really do appreciate all of the support. Um, it has been phenomenal. Oh, okay, yeah, we're we're done. Um, it's really, really been amazing um, to see the the uptick. I, I'm a bit of an analytics guy. I like to look at the YouTube analytics and kind of do my best to, to track what we're doing and how we're doing and all that. Um, to see how much growth there has been uh, in roughly the last month uh, has been tremendous. Uh, it's really, really exciting for me. Uh, it's great to see that you guys really, really care about what we're, th we're throwing out there as well. So uh, frame rates are really bad in this one as well. 
We are against a Lutri deck. Um, I just I don't want to give you guys terrible looking content, so I'm gonna I'm gonna concede. Uh, it's actually a decent starting hand, but unfortunately, I just I hate that the frame rate thing is such an issue right now. Um, these networks, guys, they're terrible. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing to see the support and I, I to see all of the new people here. Uh, we've gotten. I think we're up like 650 some odd subscribers or something like that to see all of you guys here uh watching the videos enjoying the videos it means a lot to us um we're a small youtube channel and so really any amount of support whether that be via viewership via subscriptions via comments uh via liking anything uh truly does mean a lot um so thank you very very much uh do believe this is our last game uh, which is really interesting because the if we're like 10 minutes in um, <laughs> But these games go quick, so We will do the best we can um, Land is a good draw. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in here Let's get Scorch Spitter We're just gonna play out here um, as much as we can next turn planning to play the banner uh, So we can pump everything up a little bit uh, And get to Obosh just a little bit quicker um, double banner seems very, very strong. Um, despite having very good stuff, what I'm realizing with this deck is that, um, you know, with mono red, I don't think we even really lost a game. We might've lost one, uh, just straight regular mono red. Um, and I think it's because it keeps the pressure on a little bit better. Uh, with this deck, like you notice turn one, we play the, the haster, which is great. Turn two, we played two one ones and just attacked with the one one. Whereas in mono red, these two cards could have just been like a robber of the rich, uh, in which case we would have attacked in for more damage. I think um, there's something to be said there. Uh, don't know if it's like you know the worst thing in the world, but I'm just saying that uh, I think that there is a slight um, decrease in speed that we have to consider. I'm going to let them block if they want to block. I'd rather them block now than when they have a Witch's Oven out. Uh, and next turn we get to go Mountain Obosh. Uh, or Mountain Banner. Whatever we kind of decide to do. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I think we will play the Obosh. Uh, that does mean it's a little bit difficult to attack him with this, though. So I'm going to hold off and just attack with the Initiate. Um, looks like they're going to block there. That makes sense. Next turn, we can play this banner uh, and either pump everything up or make this unblockable and pump everything up. We'll, we'll kind of see how we decide to do it. Um, that feels bad. Phoenix. Thankfully here we kind of get to do it all. Uh, so let's unblockable. We'll swing in. Um, they can double block this if they would like to. Um, in that case I kind of think we just block or we would just fill that but looks like they're not looking to. Um, all right. I mean, we've got some threats out. Uh, it's kind of a matter of if they can deal with them all. Uh, thankfully, this being unblockable, like I said before, is very, very helpful. Um, that's quite good. Not going to be good enough, though. Make it unblockable. Uh, and let's attack in. So here they just can't block both of these, uh, and this gets to block... Uh, be unblockable so we're we're going to uh to get there yeah we'll block that way that's fine
we could have also pumped up a Phoenix. We just didn't need to. Uh, okay. Um, I believe that's our last game. Uh, that was really, really quick. Uh, let's talk about this deck a little bit. Um, cause I think it's interesting. I'm comparing it most directly to the mono red list that we played a while back. And let me actually pull that list up for you just so we can kind of take a peek at it. So, um, First of all, if you want to see the full list on the deck we just played, it's in the description, but it's also in video one. We kind of go over it a lot. So things we don't get uh, because we play Obosh, anything in this slot. So Runaway Steamkin, Robber, as well as Rimrock Knight. All of these, well, these two in particular are very, very aggressive cards. This is a very early powerhouse card that ramps you into, obviously, a lot more stuff later on. Um, so this is a bit more of an engine card, but these two are very much powerhouses in that they're just dealing as much damage as possible as early as possible. The Rimrock Knight, especially because of the Boulder Rush, I will say. Uh, it's not like this has haste or anything, it's just a little bit of a stronger 2-drop. Uh, but the fact that you get to power something up uh, with the Boulder Rush that you may have played on turn 1 is very, very good. Uh, we get all of these, uh, which is great. These two cards, though, in particular, we do not get. And really, Embercleave is the big setback, in my opinion. I think uh, Torbran, very, very strong card, don't get me wrong. But uh, I think, you know, it depends the deck, uh, on the deck, which one you kind of want. Um, you don't have to have Torbran, as good as it is. Uh, Embercleave, bit of a missed opportunity, I think. Uh, it's just so, so powerful. Now, you can't imagine having this in a deck with Obosh. That seems a little crazy to me. Um, you could consider main decking just Obosh if you wanted to, but I don't think that that's worth it. That slows down the deck too much, in my opinion, because it is five mana. Uh, so I don't think that that's the right call. Um, I, I just don't think you put this in a deck with Obosh. I just don't think you can um, without without it being a companion, let me just say. Uh, so the the big misses here i think are the ember cleave the robber of the rich and probably the runaway steamkin uh rimrock knight like i said very good aggressive card but uh you know it's it's fine it's not amazing it's not like making or breaking the deck robber though very very strong uh so those are the cards you're losing out on and i think that those are big enough that it is an issue um when it comes to this deck i think you know in looking at at our list it's fine, but you get in these awkward situations on turn two where, like, you're just playing out more Scorch Spitters or Grim Initiates or whatever. You're not actually attacking for any more damage because you don't have anything to, to do other than that. Um, now, obviously, if you double up on Fervent Champion, something like that, that's great. That's as good as it would be here, but it, there's a difficult thing there. Um, so my take is uh, the deck is fine, not as good as this version. Uh, is the way that I would say it. That might be incorrect, and it may just be that, you know, in my isolated few games here, I did six. It may not have been that, that you know, the matchups were rough or whatever, or maybe this deck would have performed the exact same way. Regardless, I am not sold. Uh, I do think there is a great Rakdos Obosh list, uh, so we'll probably play that at some point very, very soon, but this one did not sell me, uh, is the way that I take it. So, uh, regardless... It was very fun to play. Uh, I do really like playing out those banner at, or the the banners and things like that. I think that's kind of a cool little tech piece uh, that that deck gets, um, but it just doesn't seem enough uh, to be honest. So that's just my take. Feel free to share your comments uh, below. I'm I'm happy to to talk about that. Maybe you've had better luck than I have, or uh, maybe you just played better than I did, which is totally fine as well. Uh, but that's just the way I look at it. So regardless, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for all the support lately. Please make sure to stay up to date on our website, itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, we will have the rest of the cycle of uh, lands that we've created available there very, very soon. Uh, super, super stoked about that. And of course, don't, make, uh, don't forget to uh, sign up on Patreon if you're interested in picking up those proxies and just supporting what we do. We really do appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you very soon uh, in the next gameplay video.